Thank you, Chichi, for that. With the 2024 finance bill conversation taking center stage amongst concerned Kenyans and members of parliament, the 15-member committee is set to decide on whether Kenyans will dig deeper into their pockets in the next financial year or will listen to their opinion after the controversial bill was publicly debated on. And as Mike Kagwongo now reports, a section of finance and national planning committee members led by Baringo North Member of Parliament Joseph Makilap have proposed massive changes to the controversial finance bill 2024 in its third reading, but ahead of MPs voting and presidential assent to make it an act, how does this bill specifically become law? Take a look. <laughs> the Molo MP Korea Kimani led Finance and National Planning Committee retreated on Wednesday last week to write a report on the finance bill of 2024, ahead of its tabling in the parliament tomorrow afternoon. The committee met with a number of government entities on Tuesday last week to discuss a number of public recommendations that were submitted during the two-week public participation process. The purpose of this was to get the views of the people on the specific concerns that surfaced throughout the public debate concerning the bill and the potential effects they would have on the economy if executed. Lastly, honorable members, but before all this, before MPs vote on it and a presidential assent makes it an act, how does this bill become law? Well, this process will be based on the requirements of various government agencies. First, the National Treasury and Executive draft the finance bill. In its first reading, the bill is introduced to Parliament where it is assigned a tracking number and immediately assigned to a committee. Following its nature, the finance bill is assigned to Finance and National Planning Committee. The second reading is the stage of the legislative process, where a draft of a bill is read a second time. Members of public are involved to get their views on the proposed clauses before it's taken back to the august house for the third reading. A third reading is the stage of a legislative process in which a bill is read with all amendments and given final approval by a respective committee. In parliaments whose procedures are based on those of Westminster system, the third reading occurs after the bill has been amended by the designated committee. Finally, the granting of presidential assent is the formal method by which the president completes the legislative process by formally assenting or giving it consent to an act of parliament. Quite often, an act of parliament will provide that it will come into effect on a date to be notified. In such cases, after the act has received presidential assent, notification of the date of its coming into effect will be given through a legal notice by Treasury Cabinet Secretary. The Finance Act of 2023 became the fastest finance bill to be signed into Kenyan history on June 26, 2023, when the President extended his assent. The Finance and National Planning Committee report is one of several revisions to the bill that have been proposed by individual members a section of committee members and the House leadership. That one, we are sure Kenyans, will bring it down. It doesn't matter what it takes. And we are MPs from Azimiu. We are united on that. Easy vitu zikitolewa, pesa zitafuto kwa malingine, mimi hata na support. Waongeze bei ya pombe, iwe kali sana. Iwe very expensive. Na hata hiya 2023, Tulikuwa bado hiyo kinonda hiko na bado tunaumia. Sisi tutabaki tuna mungu hawa wabaki na vile wanategemea. Kwa sababu sisi tumeumia kapsa. Kwa sababu kwa siku hata uwezi kusevu hata shilingi moja. I understand this interest before it goes too far. Following concerns that the bill contains tax proposals that will overburden the ordinary citizen, Baringo North Member of Parliament Joseph Makilap has reportedly opposed to the proposed motor vehicle tax with a rate of 2.5% of the motor vehicle value. 
Together with other members of the committee, he seems to have bought roads and transport cabinet secretary Kipchumba recommends idea that the tax collected at the fuel pump and currently priced at 18 shillings per litre should be increased by 7 shillings to make it 25 shillings. I know there were a lot of uh, discrepancies on issues to do with VAT on bread which I think uh, the committee removed, the VAT on sanitary towels, the committee also removed, uh, there is a VAT on motor vehicle, uh, we, we are waiting for tomorrow so that we can be able to see. Kesho kama wabunge, wakenya kwanza, tunaenda kumwona raisi, ili tujadiliane, ni kodi gani zitatolewa kwa finance bill. Kesho lazima tumuambie zile kodi zinafinilia mwananchi wa kawaida zitolewe kwa finance bill. Political analyst Mutahi Ngonyi sensationally claims that the government has listened to Kenyans. He said that the revised finance bill set to be tabled in parliament tomorrow has removed tax on cars, bread, edible oils and the eco levy. Digital strategist Dennis Etombi also said the report will consider all the feedback and is sure the committee will adapt some of the ideas and suggestions. Mike Kaguango TV 47. Nairobi.